Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sally. If you guys haven't been here, welcome. We love everyone. So if you guys are wondering why I have two different eyes right now, it's because I just filmed the Jeffree Star video with his new little mini blood sugar palette and the cavity palette. So that's, this was this look. But I was too excited because we got the new Huda Beauty mystery box. I just couldn't wait to open this and I really didn't want to redo my makeup or change or anything because I want to get into this. I want to see what's in here because no one knows what's in here and the YouTube videos just started coming out today and I don't want to see them so I want to see what's in here. Without further ado, let's get into this Huda Beauty mystery box. Oh, and look at how the box came. Look, look at how it came. Freaking UPS. UPS sucks, guys. I always go with FedEx because UPS is just... I'm sorry, they just throw things. Let's get into the video, yeah? Okay. I love how it had the little tissue paper with her lips on it. I think that is so freaking cute. Oh, I'm really confused because it says $37.98 for a large beauty cosmetic bag, but I know for a fact this was like $70 or $90, one of those. Let me look at my emails. Let's see how much this was. Yeah, this was $90, so I don't know why it says $35. Anyways. This is supposed to have a really big, huge value, and I know Huda Beauty, when they do do mystery boxes, which is super, super rare, like very, very rare when they do mystery boxes, you have to jump on them because there's only a two-day sale, and if you miss it out on those two days, it's gone. So let's get into this. Yes, so it's very packaged very well. And here it is. And then it came with a so you did get to choose a sample I chose the sample size of her perfume I got this about two years ago in Sephora when they were giving out samples you got to choose I would use it all the time and I would just throw it in my purse because you could see that it's just different scents it's more universal it's not necessarily feminine or masculine because you can mix it like it has musk and it has citrus and elixir and the elixirs elixir smells bomb you can mix these mix and match them and make your own scent and I think it's so cute oh the elixir smells like like a man like a musky man with a little floral scent so if you mix the elixir with the musk it's really good for a men cologne oh it smells so good i just like the elixir by itself i think it smells amazing so let's get into this i'm so excited i've been waiting for this and waiting for this and then i saw all the youtube videos and i was like no how is mine not coming because i know everyone ordered it on the same day and I, mine just is just late to arrive i guess I'm gonna try to edit this fast. Oh, that's cute. It actually came like, like this is an actual bag that says Huda Beauty, you see? Wow, this is reusable too. You can seal it up, that's cool. Okay, so everything is in here. The little reflective bag. <laughs> I just saw what's in here and... Uh, I'm gonna pull out my palettes right now. Okay, so first is this little card just from Huda Beauty. It says, we hope you love your mystery bundle gorgeous because we hope you found some new favorites, blah, blah, blah. It's 15% off. Okay, cool. Okay, so first is this. This is a basic B straight edge applicator sponge. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, it's really soft. So it's just a blending sponge. You see it? And it's really soft soft and really foamy i think this is going to be really good for concealer especially with the flat edge you see how it's flat the flat edge right there for concealer or even powder i actually think this is going to be a good like sponge it's going to be really really good let's do the next item let's get this top one look at that that's cute i think it's just an air freshener yeah it's just an air freshener i'm gonna put it in the car and it's a little huda beauty air freshener i think that's so cute look at that oh okay i'm gonna tell you now this is so worth the 90 dollars because there is a palette in here i'm gonna save it for last that costs 68 dollars and i have this palette and i'm almost done with the palette of how much i love it the palette that's in here is like my everyday go-to but enough about the palette i'm gonna go to the next item which is this right here oh this is wishful wishful honey balm this is her skincare line so huda beauty huda huda is her name um she has her makeup line and then her skincare line and wishful is her new skincare line that launched i think a year ago or two years ago if i'm correct i think a year ago and i've heard about this this is a really good moisturizer gentle simple effective lavender honey na niacin dummy niacin mide and turmeric see right there jelly moisturizer oh this is beautiful look at it it's purple and it's reflective look at that chrome oh it's gorgeous and then this makeup bag look at the makeup bag like this makeup bag is beautiful i'm gonna keep this makeup and i'm gonna travel with it so let's 
Oh, look at that. Oh, it smells like lavender and honey. Oh, it smells really good. Oh, it's like, it's so dense. Very, very dense. Okay, look, do you see my dry skin? See, it's a little dry, so let's moisturize it. It smells so good. Look at that, and look at how shiny it left it, and super, super moisturized, and it's, I don't have no more dry skin right now. Let me put it on the other hand, but it smells so good. Look, both hands are now moisturized. Beautiful. Oh, okay, so that was wishful. Next is, oh, oh I've been wanting this. This is Huda Shimmer Highlighter Palette. Oh, you guys, if you guys like this video so far, and you guys like how excited I am about this stuff, and if you don't, fine, whatever. But if you do, while I open this up, consider subscribing to my channel, guys. I do a lot of mystery boxes. I do a lot of unboxings, like BoxyCharm, Ipsy, Lashy Box. I do random stuff. I do hauls, clothing hauls, lifestyle stuff. Just consider subscribing. Any subscriber helps, honestly. It, it would really help me out. And with that, let me try to open this up because this is hard. I shouldn't have put that lotion on. <laughs> so this is her shimmer highlighter palette. Look at that highlight on her. Oh my God. This packaging is just everything. Okay, so look at that. Ooh, that's pretty. <gasps> Ooh, Saint Tropez is beautiful. Ooh, should I swatch it? Do you see that? Saint Tropez. That's Malibu. That one's not as shiny either. This one was Coco Cabana and this is Mykonos. And that one's Mykonos. Oh, this one's beautiful though, Saint Tropez. Yeah, Saint Tropez is just beautiful. Look at that. They're like horrible swatches, but this one right here is Saint Tropez and that one's gorgeous. Ooh, I'm so excited for this. It's so beautiful. Okay, let's do the next item. So we got this. What is this? What is this? Ooh, life liner. Ooh, I've been wanting this too. So glad I bought this. Oh, I saved myself so much money. Mm. This is a New York product. This is her liner. It's a double-sided liner. So, so one side is like a old school kind of liner. Would you guys believe that I've never actually used this liner? I've always used felt tips. So I'm really scared with these little pointy liners. And then the other side, the other side is just a pencil liner and it's super thin too. That's actually pretty good. Okay, let's see how these are. Ooh, look at how black that is. Wow, that's dark and it's so opaque. Oh, I broke it. Okay, be careful, it's very delicate, okay? But look at that, look at how dark that is, and it's so opaque. That's crazy, that's a good liner. Let's do this one. Hmm, that's actually really pretty. That's nice, okay, okay. That's cute, I'm happy about that. I'm gonna definitely try it out, use it. Okay, so let's do the next item, which is this. When these came out, I was so debating to buy it. <gasps> And it's the color I wanted too, but then I was like, no, it's like 20 something, almost $30 for a lipstick, so I didn't buy it. But this is the Diamond Balm Sparkly Lip Balm in the color Najelich. Najelich, I think that's how you say it. And these just look so beautiful, and the promos picture look beautiful, and then on the models they look gorgeous. But then I was like, I'm gonna save my money because I need it for other stuff, and I'm, oh, there's so much stuff in here that I've been wanting to try. Look at this packaging. Look, it's like a chromey packaging. It's everything's fitting the theme because everything is very like this type of color, like the the what do you call it, the multi chrome kind of color. I don't know how you say it, but look at that. Look at that. Look, look. It's like see through, but then not see through at the same time. Are you ready for this? Look at that. Look at. Do you see that? Do you see that? Look at that. Look. Wow, isn't that gorgeous? That's a lip balm. Let's see. Oh, it's clear. It's clear with sparkles. Let me let me see if I can intensify it. Can you see it's just clear with sparkles? <laughs> it's gorgeous. Should we try it on? Oh. Ha ha ha! Ha ha! This is beautiful. Oh, I love it. 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 I'm in love. I'm in love with this. I'm gonna use it every day. Let's do the next item. This is 
This is an interesting color. This is strobe light in that deep purple color. I have one of these liquid lips in Trophy Wife and it's like a deep mauve -y. Like it's more on the purple side than the pink side, but it's really pretty. But this is purple. Look at this color. It's like a vampy purple. You see with the little glitter shimmers. You know, everything's fitting the theme. Everything is very shimmery, very... Ew, look at that though. Do you see that? Do you see that string? What is that? You see it? I think this is a very old, or it's a hair. I don't know if it was a hair or it was the lipstick, but it came out of the tube. But this is, I think it was just a lipstick because it came out a little stringy right now. But that was weird. But I mean, it still smells good. So I don't think it was that. So should we try to swatch it? Oh, this is like purple, deep black purple. You know what? This actually looks like a really good color. I don't hate the color. I think this looks good with this type of, not a bold eye, but this type of eye. It looks better. More neutral kind of eye. So this is definitely a lip gloss and I'm all here for it. I think it's a really pretty color. Look at it. You see? I think it's really good and I really, really like it. You guys ready for the last item? I just don't know what that little stringy stuff. I think it was just in a tube a little bit too long. I'm not sure what it was, but I think it looks nice. I like it. I certainly just turned into a grungy look, but I'm here for it. Okay, let's do the last item and it is Mercury in Retrograde. And this hands down favorite eyeshadow palette of all time of all time and let me open the new one but i'm gonna show you guys my old one as well i use it all the time it's very loved though it's very very loved this retails i believe for 68 dollars and it is so heavy like heavy duty look it even has a little protector do you see that look at how beautiful the palette is do you see that Gorgeous. You guys ready for the inside? Oh, look at that. Oh my god, this palette does not compare to anything. Does not. It is gorgeous. You guys want to hear more ASMR? Oh, this is gorgeous. It's just like my other one. Ready? Oh, that was good. Look at that gorgeousness. You see it? Look at it. This one's my favorite. This one right here. This one is Super Moon. It might not look that great, but when it's swatched, Super Moon, it has like a rainbow of colors in it and it is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And this one's really good too. This one's a little chunky. It's not my favorite. This one's really good for like a highlighter. This one is gorgeous on the eyes. So is this one. So is this, this one's by far my favorite. Favorite. Hear how, hear how heavy it is. Ready? Solid packaging. Look at that packaging. Wow, let me show you my old one. Well, I'm not gonna touch the new one until I'm almost done with the other one, but I'm almost done with the other one. So this is the old one. Sorry, it's very, very loved as you can see. So this one, Super Moon. Look at that. Do you see that? And then my other favorite one is Galaxy. Galaxy, that one, that bronzy color. And then the mattes. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't really use the mattes a lot because they're a little lighter. But when I do use the mattes, that's why you see they're not indented compared to the shimmers. I just use the shimmers so much more than the other ones. But the mattes in itself, they're so creamy and buttery and pigmented and opaque that you literally need to dip your brush like the smallest little thing and like blend it all together. You don't need so much product. That's why it looks like I haven't touched it, but this one you could see that I have touched it So I have touched them. I've touched all of them many many times, but you don't need as much eyeshadow That's why it doesn't look like it's been touched But oh, this is literally my favorite eyeshadow palette of all time and I have a double one and oh, that just makes my heart so happy It's so happy. Look at this. You see them? Look at them. Oh, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, this is so pretty just to even look at do you see it? I turned down the light. Look at it. Look at it. <sighs> so if you guys are interested, these have nine buttery mattes, six high shine creamy metallics, one glitter powder, two sheer multi-reflective shadows. I really wish you guys could see Supermoon like in real life because I have never seen an eyeshadow like that. And it's so creamy and buttery and it feels like 
how would I describe like butter? I don't know how else to describe it, but when you feel butter in between your fingers, that's how Supermoon feels. That's Supermoon, but it doesn't give it justice. It just doesn't. It's so, it looks white, and then on my side, it looks purple and pink. I just, oh, I wish you guys could see it. I'm so excited. You guys, don't, I'm so excited. Let's recap what I got. Okay. So, the bag eyeshadow palette, lipstick, lip balm with a glitter. Gorgeous. The Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette and the lipstick. So, that's four items. The sponge, five. Wishful moisturizer, six. The Huda Beauty eyeliner, which is seven. And then the air freshener, which is eight. And I think this was, oh, I think this was so cute. OMG, this, this was so good. Oh, I love it. Okay, let me know what you guys think. Is it is it worth the $90? Um, Yeah, yeah it is. You know why? Because that palette in itself is 68 bucks. This is almost $70. Okay, a lipstick is probably 20 bucks. Bam, your money's right there, right there. And you get all these extra products, plus it's literally cool. This is like me, like I like colorful, reflective, glittery, shiny, out there kind of stuff. I'm not really a natural kind of person, it's just natural colors. So worth it, so worth the money, the investment, everything, because Huda Beauty is honestly, I know a lot of people have mixed reviews about Huda Beauty, but I, every product I have tried from Huda Beauty, I personally love. I've never been disappointed, especially the eyeshadow palettes. I'm telling you, her eyeshadows just, they just don't compare to any vibe shadows that I've ever tried in my life. They just, maybe Jeffree Star, maybe, because Jeffree Star has really, really good mattes that you can just blend into a dream, but her shimmers are just so good. So that was my little video. And I have an extra Mercury and Retrograde palette. Oh. And I was gonna buy another one too soon. I was like, I'm gonna run out of my palettes and I'm gonna have to buy another Mercury and Retrograde. And I don't have to. I don't have to. Okay, guys, so that was my video. Thank you guys so much for coming to my channel. I really do appreciate it. If you guys like this content, consider subscribing to my channel. Remember to like this video, share, hit that little notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.